Spooky World. What? What now? Oh. Live from Spooky World, New England's number one haunted attraction. It's the What's Up News with Pete J and Diane. Hello, can you see us, everybody? Okay, we're a little bit dark here tonight. We're over at Spooky World. Remember, warning, this news may not be accurate. If we said anything wrong, we got anything wrong, put it in the comments. We'll read it in a couple of minutes. Now, over to Pete for our top story. Jay, here's the deal. We're at Spooky World. It's the uh, eighth season. They're wrapping it up shortly. You have this weekend, next weekend. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Monday for Halloween, and then there's a bonus the week after. So get down here. It's a little rainy, but hey, everyone's having a great time. Come on down. There's 80 acres of haunts, five haunted attractions. These guys plus about 200 more, and then uh, 200 people thousands here. Thousands of visitors a uh day. Today's a great day. Keep the rain's keeping some people away. Come on down. Wait. Oh. All right. All right, breaking news, people. Let me tell you something. Vanilla Ice once famously said, drop the zero and get with the hero. We found out who the hero is. The hero right over here happens to be Pete Salinas. He saved a woman from danger on the Brown Avenue off-ramp. I couldn't believe it. Rumor has it he was coming home from the beach, or wherever the hell you were North coming home from. North Conway, baby. North Conway, coming home from North Conway. Woman stranded on the side of the road, pulls over abruptly. What does Pete do? He pulls over to help her out. He walks up, and guess what? It's a member of our What's Up Facebook page family. Yeah. And she immediately recognized Pete <laughs> and had that bond, that trust, that bond. And he brought her home like a good gentleman. And Karen, his wife, brought the car home. Pete, you saved the day. Yeah. It was unbelievable. All the days work, Jay. Hey, Pete, uh, did you catch her cold? That's the question. She was sick. Did you catch her cold? No. Good. No. Thank you. No. Over to you, Pete. Oh. All right. The voter registration deadline. You haven't registered. This is the week. Get down there to town hall and vote. Get registered to vote. Awesome. Okay, people. PFOA update. Check it out. PFOA. People, your time has absolutely come. Okay? Coming starting in November, Pete, the 360 homes yep. that have poison PFOA water, you're going to start being connected up Great. to Penichuk. Okay. Good deal. 173 people are going to be connected by the end of the year. The remaining are going to be connected next year. Nice. And for the people that aren't going to be connected next year, you're going to get that on-site filtration system. Oh, right. that's, that's good, Very important, good stuff. people. There is a meeting at Campbell High School, 1025 at 7 p.m. Make sure to get out there and check it out. All right. And secondly, for your people that have the, the well situation, in my opinion, hitch that sucker right up to your yep. irrigation system. Exactly. Right? All right. Exactly. Cool. All right, my favorite fall dessert, cut apple crisp. Lix has it now through the end of the month. So get down there, stop in, some cut apple crisp. they got all kinds of ice cream flavors. I, I'm a traditionalist, go with the vanilla, but uh, get down there, check so, it out. Pete, the rumor is we're going to have warm apple crisp oh, warm. this weekend. Warm stuff, that's good stuff. I like it hot. But you warm. like it hot? I, I yeah. like it warm. All right. All right, next, pumpkins and hay rides, people. Let's see, Wilson Farm, McQuestion Farm, still has pumpkins, yep. still has a lot of hay rides going on. Get out there, and, check it out. And very importantly, McQuestion has the hay rides, and Wilson, I'm getting disturbed over here, and Wilson Farm actually has those caramel apples still. The caramel out. apples are good. I like good those stuff. suckers. You? Oh, yeah. Oh, good I stuff. love those things a lot. All right. Oh, this is the thing. All right, we've got this uh, Halloween candy. Favorite Halloween candy. I don't know how we who voted on this, how we got Tootsie Roll. Now listen, I like Tootsie Rolls. They're great. When I go to Town Hall, you know, I'm registering, I see Pat and Claire. They got a nice bowl out. I'll take one or three. But as a candy for Halloween, they're not in the top ten. No, very disappointing. You know, the uh, you know, at least we didn't vote for cookies like West Virginia. Jay's going down there, talking to other people, West Virginia, set them straight. Pete, I am upset with this. Okay, people, listen up. Okay, New Hampshire, Tootsie Roll, thumbs down. Come on, get with it. Here's what I'm very disappointed with. South Carolina, Tennessee, Texas, Wyoming, Oregon, thumbs down. Candy corn is not a real candy. That nope. is disgusting. And I'm really troubled with uh, Arizona. Okay, Toblerone. Who gives Come that on. up? 
Who gives out Don't Toblerone? Give Toblerone. And what man eats Toblerone? Period. All right, folks. Halloween reminder. Next, uh, let's see. A little over a week is Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> remember. You don't want to get egg, right? If you don't want to get egg, remember to give out the baby roots, the hundred grams, and the M and S. Okay. You want to get egg? You want to get toilet paper? Well, go ahead. Give out those apples. Give out that candy corn. Those are for the people in Tennessee. Oh. And give out those thumbs up. Don't do that. You nope. will get egg, people. All right. <laughs> oh. Did someone misplaced their rooster. There was a misplaced rooster found on Blue Jay Way. We don't know if it's feral because no one's claimed it. If you know someone that's lost their rooster, throw it on the WhatsApp page because it's a black and white rooster roaming around. Black and white rooster. Okay, people, I was at the rec commission meeting the other day, Pete. Again, I was Again, you weren't there. I was there. And guess what? Books are coming to your local parks, people. Yeah. I was pretty interested in this. The Girl Scouts in town. Are I don't think you read books. I don't. But I was interested in the concept. Oh. Okay, the Girl Scouts in town are putting in these uh, little book bins. Oh. You know, you're going to take a book, you're going to leave a book. It's going to be good. That's great. <laughs> so when you go to Terra Pond, you'll be able to read. Pete. Will I be able to read a Thereupon? You'll be able to read, Jay. Maybe we'll I get mean, Jay I, to read a book. Dude, I can read. I just don't choose to read. All right? I read the interweb. All right. All right, that's about hey, it. Hey, our Frozen novelty update. Big recall on drumsticks. The uh, They tested positive for Listeria. Fortunately, oh, yeah. Listeria? Yeah, Listeria. Okay. Fortunately, snow cones are unaffected. Litchfield Food Mart has plenty of them. They're Listeria-free. If you have drumsticks in your freezer... Throw them out and start over. Throw them out and start over. Thank you, Pete. Okay, lastly on our news, what the heck is with these creepy clowns? Okay, they're running no all offense, over guys. the place. No uh, offense to these. <laughs> they're running all over the place. Rumor had it they were coming to Campbell High School. But thank God that rumor did not come true. Okay? You see these creepy clowns, these things freak me out. Get them yep. out of here. If you got pepper spray, shoot first, ask <laughs> questions later. Up. Oh. Whoa! Jay, hold on. We're having technical We're difficulties. Technical difficulties. I'm sorry. Right. up the storm. Go ahead. Jay, what's the matter? All, All right. right, the gas alert. We're uh, we're up a little bit, seven cents. But uh, you know, two oh nine at the Rainways, which is pretty good. I was up north, a lot higher, about two twenty five. Two twenty five so we're still, up north. Yeah. Oh wow. So we're still holding strong. All right. All right. Uh, Tony Rose is real estate Tony! Guy. Okay, Tony's a real estate guy. He's got the update for September. 13 sales, low of 220, high of 521. Was that your house, Pete? Not yet. Not yet. Uh, average of 288, 38 days on the market. Good job, Tony. That's good not stuff. Too bad, Tony Rosa. Okay, anybody wants to sell their house, you know, maybe talk to Tony. Tony's a good guy. There's other real realtors in town, too, you can talk to. Real tours, excuse me. All right, Pete, All right, over to you for the sports report. All right, here we go. Campbell football, four and two. The boys' soccer is, uh, they wrap up today. So if anyone knows the score, throw it on the What's Up page or DMJ. Uh, girls, they're going in the playoffs, ranked number two. Volleyball, they started out they, weak. They started out weak. Eight straight wins, great job. And uh, they're on to the playoffs. And then uh, cross country, we haven't talked about cross country. Sorry about that, but uh, the division meet is next Saturday at Dairyfield Park in Manchester. Yeah, sorry about the cross-country thing. We can't find anything anywhere. Yeah, so There's you know no, It's not on uh, the, 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 the town's, uh, the, excuse me, the school page. Nothing. Send us the info. Send us info. DM it over to the Jay. Hey! Yo! Whoa! Jesus, okay. Bears. Okay, so the Bears, the 90 Bears that seem to be steamrolling. At the yeah. Yeah. Okay, the rate no. Bears are 8-0. No. The 10 new Bears have a little bit of a tough season. Can't quite see, but you know, hopefully Need some off-season training. 12 new Bears, 4-3, and three, good job. Yep. Both these guys are keying it up for the playoffs. Very good. All right, here's our mama. <laughs> oh, shoot, hold on, hold on. Go ahead. Hey, what's up, Wisfield? Sorry. That's fine. Hands free. <laughs> Hey, so it's really fun to be here at Spooky World tonight. I've never really been here before, and I've made all kinds of really new friends. And the weather girl is enjoying the rain because it's warm, but it's rainy today. 
and Paige. Um, can we change the weather? Thank you. It's hard to get good help these days. We really do try. So obviously it's raining tonight and it's going to rain tomorrow. So it's a good day to get some sewing done, some laundry done, in-house type of stuff. Because Sunday, we're going to be wanting to go back outside again. And tomorrow night, the weather's going to be better. And I'm not eating that. It's, it's going to be better tomorrow night to come down here to Spooky World and have a really good time. And for anybody that was out Tuesday in shorts after my weather prediction of an 80 degree day, I'm wicked sorry. But I was out there too if that makes you feel better. So, right, wait, 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 wait. Don't forget. Oh, thank you very much. Don't forget your pen here. All right. Okay, people out there in Litchfield, tell me the truth. Is this just a total fiasco or what? Pete, I'm going to hand you the microphone back and forth. I think we'll, I think we'll do that. Lighter side. Okay, on the lighter side here. Okay, men out there, you need some grooming tips. Let me tell you something. You can't be scared to shave off that unibrow or the, your other areas. Let me tell you something. After you hit 30 years old, maybe even 40 years old, the hair starts just growing all over the place, except for the top of your head. Okay, let me tell you something. If I didn't do any grooming, my unibrow would wrap all the way around my head. <coughs> so here's what you got to do. You got to go to Walgreens, and you got to buy one of these things right here. You got to buy one of those things. You got to shave that unibrow right there, and then that way your wife will love you. And this is it. Check this out. This is before you shave right here. And this is what you look like after you shave. So do yourself a favor, help your wife out, go down to Walgreens, get some shaving kit, and then help yourself out and groom properly. We need to be a properly groomed community. Exactly. All right. The town happenings. We've got the CHS Football and Spirit uh, Cancer Fundraiser. The game, huge playoff implications tomorrow. The uh, So come on down. Purchase an honor card in honor of a memory of someone that was affected by cancer for a buck. And then uh, all gate donations and the 50-50 are going to cancer research. There's also a bake sale, Jay. So we know how you like your chocolate what's chip what's cookies. What's going on over here, Pete? Ah, geez. All right, what's up next? Right. Trick or treat. All right, we're traditionalists in uh, Litchfield. Right. Oh, oh, shit. Uh, trick or treat is Monday, 10... Is uh, the 31st, 6 to 8. Look at the camera. Yep, sorry. Oh, Jesus. All right. <laughs> Up next. Oh, this the is women's, women's club this is, is having a uh, blood drive Saturday, November 5th at GMS 9 to 2. Now, I will be there. I'm locked in for a 10 15 appointment. I'm rolling up the sleeve. Given. So, we may do it live. <laughs> All, right. All right. In lacrosse. The, Rock for Locks. That's Saturday, November 5th, too. From uh, 6 to 10 at Talon Hall. There's going to be music. Bring your own Bring your own uh, food and adult beverages and non-adult beverages. There'll be raffles, all kinds of stuff. All right, all right we got our shout-out. Shout-out to Kevin Bork. Kevin found... The Mini Clark Bar. He's on the Clark Bar. Thank you very much. Mini, mini Clark Bar. Minis. Jay can find the big ones. He likes the minis. Yep. Sarah Nolan, great uh, fo awesome foliage. Rich LaSalle. Cut down a little bit. No. Oh. No, Rich. <laughs> Rich LaSalle. Thanks for the articles that you're putting out there in the HL. And great job. Oh, oh and Debbie, hey. Uh, you know, hope you're feeling better. Okay, people, this is going to be the worst Hudson Litchfield, or what are we at? The Litchfield Hudson, the worst What's Up News, maybe. I don't know how this is going to turn out, but look at this. This place is a complete, unbelievable show here. Okay, if you get a chance, come on down, support your local economy. They actually have a bar here where you can come in and you can drink multiple different types of beers. Uh, holy crap, is it raining out. You get multiple different types of beers. They got the six haunts. They got the 80 acres. They got a one mile haunted hayride. So if you get a chance, come on down. Uh, Pete, let me just go over to the comments here. Let's see what we got. Okay, Pierre Garan. Thank you. To, hey, actually, thank you to Pierre Garan for actually setting this up. All right, uh, 12U Bears from Patrick Graham. 
uh, played Goffstown in the playoffs on Sunday at two oh, in, La- luck. in Laconia. Good luck. Hit him with the uh, high. Hit him with the high. Uh, let's see what else we got. I think that's about it. He, anything else? Any yeah. final comments? I got some final oh, comments. Oh, my God. Yes, I do. All right. You know, joking around, Jay threw out the hero. The real heroes are our law enforcement, firefighters, and military. Day in, day out, they're manning up, doing a good job. And also, there was someone on the WhatsApp page, sorry, I forgot your name, you were organizing a blue ribbon, buying blue ribbons. It kind of got out of control. A lot of people want them. My wife and the executive producer, Karen, went on Amazon.com, bought these. You got a 10-pack. I think it was like 6 bucks or something, a little higher. But it were Amazon Prime for how many? She got 12, and it was, yeah, it was pretty reasonable. So go with some friends. Get the ribbons out there. Let's support our police. All right. All right. Thank you, Pete. One last comment. Uh, comment. Michelle DeBaker, head of the Charles, is this weekend. If you want to get rained on and go uh, canoe on the Charles River, you're good to go. Okay. Thank you, folks. Good night, Litchfield. I don't know how this is going to turn out. Don't blame us. Have a good night. Great play. See you later. Bye.